This video is going to show you how to cut on a fold. When you cut on a folded piece of paper, you'll end up with little shapes that you can use too. Let me show you how it's done. I'm gonna put this example over to the side. I need to start by getting a piece of paper. This one's quite big, so I'm just gonna cut it down to a smaller size. And it's called cut on a fold. So the first thing I need to do is fold my paper. You can fold it the fat way, like hamburger style, or you can fold it the skinny way, hot dog style, your choice. Depends on what you want to cut out. This one I folded skinny ways, so on my next one I'm gonna try it the other way. All right, so I have the folded side. If you folded your paper in half, go ahead and find the folded side, the creased side. You're going to cut or draw what you wanna cut on the folded side, not on the open side. Right? So whatever you're going to cut out, you want to imagine half of it. So if I wanted to cut out um, a cat, the head of a cat, because I love kitty cats, I would draw half of the cat's face. The ear, maybe some whiskers. Then, when I'm done drawing it, and notice I left a gap at the top and the bottom because I don't want to cut the fold all the way off. Now I can take my scissors and go in on that folded part. Notice how my scissors are staying straight and my paper is doing the turning. Those details might be a little small for me to get, but I think if I turn my paper around, I'll be able to get them. And the kitty cat face, well that's just an example. You can really draw anything you want on the folded line and cut it out. So it could be something representative like an animal. Or you could also take your paper, fold it in half, and if you don't wanna draw anything first, you could just do kind of some freestyle cutting, but you wanna make sure that you're not cutting on the open part. Nope, you wanna cut on the folded part because it's called cut on a fold. So you could just go in, remember you don't wanna cut that off because you'll cut the crease off. Come a little bit, like two fingers widths from the bottom, and then you can start to cut out whatever you want. It could just be kind of an organic shape, or it could be a geometric shape, like a square or a triangle. I don't wanna cut all the way to the top because then I'll cut the fold off. And these pieces that you cut out, you can save them and make a little crease on them and use them to stand up three-dimensionally, or you can recycle them if you don't need it. But when you open up the paper that you've cut on the fold, you're gonna have a nice design there, and because of the fold, it's going to kind of stand up in a 3D way. And that is how you cut on a fold. Fold your paper, find the crease, and cut along the creased or folded side.